Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Fine Go from CZT Juliet Feisinger. Hope I pronounced that right. So Fine Go is a tangulation or variation on two uh, tangles from Zentangle. Uh, that would be Finery and Vertigo. And it's just, it's rather clever. So, starts off with um, two lines. Actually, actually, I don't need to. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Well, oh, if I turn it this way, I can always move it, right? So, and you want to have your hands nicely planted, and so that way you can use the curve, uh, natural curve that happens uh, when it just kind of pivots on the heel of your hand. And so I'm going to do one. And then I wish I could just do the second one and just have it go, but it never seems to work out for me. Ooh, but this one is just called Don't Think About It. <laughs> All right, that turned out nice. Then, and I say, I'm just deciding which direction do I want to have this go? Um, well, I did the step out this way. Well, let's do it the other way. Okay. Talked myself into it. <laughs> All right. So once you have have that, and you know, you can have this is on a two by two inch bijou tile. I mean, you can have it have it go longer, of course, and maybe have the two ends end in a you know a point or something. Up to you. All right. So after this, then, and I'm just going to do one. Well, yeah, one side at a time. Just in in various places. I'm going to just another curve line. You could have this. Uh, let's see how it's like how far do I want to have these go oh and she yes puts a little dot at the end and you decide how far out you want these uh, to go then I'm air drawing so I was like well I want to get that curve and then on the flip side same thing they don't have to line up I'm gonna have my knot line up It's one of those, ah, they can or they can't. It's completely up to you. All right, after you have that set, then we're going to aura around these, except for the, the bottom one, we are not going to. Now, I say that thinking this. If for some reason you want to make this, uh, where like this isn't the base. You could have it look like, I like to do that a lot where it looks like it's a, it's a one continuation and we've just uh, punched out this little section of it. You can do that. But if you do, if that's what you want, then, then you can go ahead and do um, an aura on this side. For our example, we're not going to do that. So on the bottom one, I'm just auraing the top side, but then all of the other ones, I'm going to aura the others. And I'm keeping it a little shy of the you know what's already there it's one of those doesn't really matter but i found in in playing with it that it's like nope oops look what i did oh but it doesn't matter okay that's going to just stay there <laughs> i forgot i was doing the bottom and i'm trying to keep these kind of close and then let's see if I can just do another one all right just to kind of fill it up then on so oh and see and that's a good reason to put the dot I'm thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, this didn't occur to me until just now. Uh, because, so we're going to work with these two inner auras, okay? And really, we're going to just do an S shape. And let's see, and I'm, I'm looking to see which direction. Okay, so from here, it's actually going to be, because I'm going to do it from the bottom up. Like that. Yeah. I could do it from 
the top down too. It didn't really turn out that way. Sometimes, oops, and look at I didn't order that. Sometimes it's better to just stick with the direction that you know works well for you. <laughs> and it's all right. Okay. And then same thing on the other side. And as you know, it's It's entangle. It all is fine, right? Let's have that go off the page. We're going to have these all go off the page. And there we go. Then, finishing off the center, kind of like we do finery. Um, and she just had it as a thin, you know, line and couple dots. Where finery is a thicker line and the dots uh, continue like to the end. And being that this is entangled, you can play with it however you want to. And then I looked later and it looked like she had, and maybe it was just in some of the samples, she also had like a couple other little lines like this, just kind of going with the angle that's there already. And again, that's why I like to, to turn the tile because you get more, your chances of having a consistent curve line are greater if you do this. <laughs> your results may vary. <laughs> Just sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And there we have it. And as you can see, it, you know, having a having something a little wonky, it doesn't matter. It's all good. And then for shading, so there could be a couple ways to do this. One, you could look at this like as an overall pattern. And I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put graphite on either side. Let's get right up close to it of the curve line. But I, I'm going to stop right here at this bottom rung. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do that first. Let's just do one side first, just because sometimes that's fun. And I'm using, because I, I have enough room, I'm going to bring it out quite a bit. Oh, see, that looks neat with just one side. I'm going to do the other side too, but I think it's fun to do it that way because then, for me, I learn what, it's like, oh, that's, here's what it does when I do this. And then I, you know, just kind of file that away in the, uh, the mental <laughs> Zentangle filing cabinet. Oh, and look at how neat that, that looks. Yep, yep, yep. And then it really, um, makes them stand out. Now, of course you can, and I'm going to put graphite down just because I don't know if I have enough left. I've been using what's been what's on the tip of my tortillon for a bit. And, um, and like I said, I have enough room here that I can uh, spread it out and not have graphite remorse. Okay. Oh, and see how I've done one of this side. Blend it a little bit more. Oh, that's not bad. Yes. I don't like seeing the pencil lines. I try to be light with the pencil so that way it doesn't um, kind of dig in a bit to this uh, cotton paper tile. But sometimes you have to go back and, and work it. I like to have a nice, smooth gradient. And if you want to add. Um, more dramaticness. I was trying to th think of the right word. Um, you can always go back and go darker, you know, if you need to. But look at how I mean, that adds a little bit more of a curve where it seemed like it was, you know, up almost straight a minute ago. Then adding this to the tips just kind of curves it a little bit. And so that's, that's fun. What a neat tangle. What a neat tangulation, we should say. And neat that it's a tangulation of two different uh, Zentangle original tangles. Really, really neat.
you know, I'm also going to say you could, if you wanted to, you could make, make this dark and then bring the gra bring the bring the graphite out and have this really sink down. I think it looks neat like that, but you know, play with it. Have fun. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have a thumbs up, you know, or click like. Feel free to share it. And if uh, if you like it enough to see more, would love to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the description section, you will find links to the step ups. I always do my own version. And then, um, <laughs> sorry, I, I always do my own version. And then, um, where it says for more inspiration is a link to the originator of the tangle. So you will find uh, Juliet's step out and do check that out because it's good to see it from that person's hand and to see the samples if they, if they have any. And I know that uh, Juliet had several. So go take a look at it. Uh, it's brilliant. And um, yeah, below that, links to connect with me if you wish. I'll have a link to my website and also to, if you happen to be on Facebook, we have a nice Facebook uh, community going. And uh, I do, um, we'd love to have you join us. We can't have too many, you know, there there's no amount that is makes it too many as I'm Tangle Friends. Uh, I, just so you know, I teach almost twice weekly. Uh, Thursdays, free sessions. I do two sessions. It's the same Tangle both times. And, like we might take something like this and play with it. This one we might add something else but it's just really fun to uh to do that we'll we take a look at you know um if we were to do this we would take a look at, at juliet samples and and then it's just go to town and have fun with it and it's amazing to see uh just the really really cool um the cool work that we all do it's really just to explore the tangle you don't have to finish a completed work you don't have to be working on tiles you can work on whatever you want to work on and uh, with whatever you want to work with. It's, you know, if all you have is, uh, is we joked, uh, crayons and paper plates, go, do it, join us. Um, we would love to have you. So that information is on my website. Would love, again, would love to see you. I do have some classes that are paid and you'll find those on my website as well. And with that, thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.